This is a terrible idea. Who's making me do this? I'm Heather and welcome to Hack Chat, where I try out all the hacks. This week on Hack Chat, we're gonna be testing out tools for things that they weren't designed to do. You can use this instead of a subway card. So for the first hack, I'm gonna use this apple slicer on not apples, a plum. I'm a little nervous that it's gonna crush the plum. Ooh, look at that. This is super good. I'm gonna try it on a, on a potato for roasted potatoes. You know, you have to center it just like as if it's like a little sun. That's pleasing. They're, they're nice shapes. These would be good for roasting. But look at this, I don't know. What would you guys do with this stump? Now we're gonna try this on onions. I've heard that you don't cry if you cut them with one of these. And push. I'm gonna break this. This is actually gonna make me cry. All right, I'm gonna try this again. It did go through, but with a lot of effort. And what we end up, <laughs> what we end up with is something that would get you kicked out of culinary school. There's absolutely no reason why you would do this, except for if you were like, you just bought it and you're in your car and you suddenly need some soup. On a scale of one to five for helpfulness, using this to cut other things is a two. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Cutting other foods with an apple core. For this next hack, I'm gonna see if you really can make a chopped salad with a pizza wheel. Is it easier? Is it just a gimmick? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna put in some bacon. I'm gonna put in a hard boiled egg. Maybe some onion slices, romaine, some radicchio, endives, pepper. And I'm gonna throw in some blue cheese. I'm gonna be really careful not to cut my thumb. So I can already tell that this is not a hack that should be tried by anybody who's not wearing a cut glove. Okay, I'm actually really gonna put on a cut glove. See, now I feel much better. I feel more confident. to take this hack seriously because it's not good and everybody knows it. Everyone already knows it. I'm gonna keep going though because nobody likes a quitter. Do you wanna see it? Chopped salads aren't about looks. They're really about just like getting everything onto a fork. Mm -hmm. Pretty tasty, but definitely was not fun. The helpfulness of this hack is a one. The easiness is a zero. I had like a lot of emotions while it was happening and most of them were unpleasant. So as an overall hack, I give it a thumbs down. I just want to add that if you need this, it's already disqualified. I want to talk about picnic season. This is a hack that I actually need because I love chicken salad but I don't like shredding chicken. Now, I know that I'm pretty lucky to have a stand mixer and I got this stand mixer on eBay. I poached some chicken because that's my favorite kind of chicken for chicken salad because it's really juicy. I'm gonna start it on low. Okay. Looks like it's going pretty well so far. Um, I'm really like, I'm so, I'm so excited about this because you know what? So it's shredded, it's very fluffy. It's like the perfect texture for chicken salad. And I could basically just put the like mayo, mustard, salt, pepper mixture in here directly and chicken salad would be done with one dirty bowl. So this is a total win. For helpfulness, it's a five because it's, it's just incredibly helpful. It's super easy, it's a five for easiness. I did nothing for like super duper fancy appliances. It's also a five. It's a very smart use of a stand mixer. Overall, I give it a thumbs up. My next tool hack, I'm gonna test out the egg slicer. Slicing things it wasn't designed to slice. We're gonna start with a mushroom. It's crushing it, not in a good way. I have this crush room. Our next victim is a kiwi. It did save a lot of time. Strawberry. Oh, that was good because you don't have to cut off the stem. Okay, this banana, this part of it crushes the whole entire thing. I don't think this tool is meant to cut things that are oblong. I think I'm gonna break this. See, see what happened? Didn't cut all the way through. Olives are next. Squished. This is a 
disappointing. It's like when you meet somebody and you think they're gonna be your friend and then you realize they're like really, really not your cup of tea. Okay, it's caprese season and I am ready for it. This took me like four seconds. Let's see if this will work on the tomato. This is a terrible idea. Who's making me do this? <sighs> is anybody else ashamed of this? So this didn't work at all. Don't ever do this on, to a tomato. Here's how this guy did. On a scale of one to five for helpfulness, I give it a four only because the strawberry cutting is just basically miraculous. On a scale of easiness, I give it a five. It's super easy. There's no skill required. It's like a guillotine. I give it a thumbs up. So this next hack is making whipped cream using a French press. Let's see if it works. You just squish it up and down over and over. Obviously you add sugar. Like my top arm muscle, whatever that's called, the one that's on the top. The shoulder. <laughs> that is, is hurting me. But I do really like whipped cream, so I'm still invested in making it work. So it's getting thicker and it's getting much harder to pull up and down. Ugh. So yeah, it appears to be whipped cream. It's kind of liquidy in parts. It has not increased in volume very much, which is one of the things that's supposed to happen with whipped cream. Do you want the good news first or the bad news? The bad news is this hack is really dumb. My French press is, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to clean it, but the good news is that I have a cup of whipped cream to eat and, and to drown my sorrows. So how bad is it? So for helpfulness, I give this a three. Middle of the road, not that helpful, not a disaster really. For easiness, I give it like a zero because I'm tired and I have a lot of work ahead of me cleaning this up so that I can have coffee tomorrow. Look at my French press, everybody. This is what I did for you. So I give this one thumbs down. This hack is a classic. It's squeezing citrus using tongs to get more juice out with less effort. I'm getting a lot of juice out of this guy, a lot, and I'm not even working at all. It's a little messy. Is that really a problem? I don't think so. And look at how much juice there is. For helpfulness, I give it like a four. So it doesn't get the full five because it just doesn't have that level of genius. For easiness, it's much easier than squeezing it with your bare hands. So I give it a four and overall I give it a thumbs up. For specialness, I don't know, it's like a two. It's not really, you know, something to write home about, but if you happen to have some tongs and some lemons, make lemonade. For this hack, we're gonna get the seeds out of this with this. Sometimes you just don't want the seeds because they're spicy. I like spicy stuff, but not everybody does. So I'm gonna take the end off of here and I'm going to use this. I'm gonna dig these out. I'm just gonna move it around the outside using the swivel action. I can see there's some seeds in there still, and I just want to show you something. Let's just do this using the same tool that I just used to cut it. What do you think worked better, the knife or the peeler? My emotion is primarily like, why am I using this instead of this when I have this out already? So here's my rating. On a scale of one to five for helpfulness, I give it a one for easiness. I give it like a three. I don't like it. I feel like lost when I'm doing it. I feel like I don't get it. Like I'm left out of the joke. I guess like on a scale of loneliness, I give this one a five. Seeding peppers with this is a thumbs down. What I learned overall is like, it's fun to try stuff out. Winner, overall winner, slicing some things that are not eggs on an egg slicer. Least best using a pizza wheel to make a chopped salad. Just only cut pizza, let the pizza wheel retain its dignity. The thing I'll never use again, but I'm really, really glad that I did because it was ridiculous, is making whipped cream in a French press. I'm amused by how incredibly messy and difficult it was and how much whipped cream I had to eat to comfort myself as a result. The one that I'll probably really use a lot this summer is shredding chicken in my stand mixer. It's crazy how easy it is and how fluffy and amazing it is. And also I'm gonna try pulled pork in it. Did you learn anything today and are you gonna try any of these? If you like hacks, like and share this video and subscribe to the Spruce Eats. I know you have a hack. I know you made one up or you liked one or your cousin liked one. Tell me about it in the comments below and I'll try it. I wanna try out the hacks that you like.
I don't, it's a lie. It's not even true at all. <laughs>